Well, we begin the broadcast in Wajir, where two men have both laid claim to the office of governor. Impeach Governor Mohamed Mahmoud maintains that he is the rightful leader of the county after a court suspended the decision to kick him out. But on the other hand, the man who's been his deputy says he is now fully in charge, having been duly sworn in following Mahmoud's impeachment. Stephen Leto begins our coverage this evening with a flurry of statements that have left residents of Wajir county in utter confusion for over a week now kenya's third largest county has been thrown into a leadership crisis following the impeachment of governor mohammed mohammud and the installation of his deputy ahmed mukhtar as the new county boss at a press conference outside the council of governors headquarters in nairobi mohammed mohammud maintained earlier in the day that he was still in charge of the affairs of the county i continue to be in office to execute the powers and functions of the governor of Wajia County as, as prescribed by law until the petition is heard and determined. But his former deputy, who was sworn in last Tuesday as governor, begs to defer. Until then, Wajia has a governor. There is no vacuum. And we are more than ready to work for the people of Wajia. To my deputy governor, I know you as a humble person who has never shown any ill, Ill, uh, any, any Ill intentions all along. I reaffirm our relationship will remain the same. The current stalemate occasioned by orders issued on Monday by the High Court in Meru. Mohamud's legal team yesterday lodged a petition at the Meru High Court with Justice Patrick Otieno noting that the matter discloses weighty issues and go to the very important question of obligation to parties to comply with court orders. On Tuesday last week, Mohamud's legal team obtained orders to stop the scheduled swearing-in that was prepared by the Assumption of Office Committee by the swearing-in ceremony went on somehow. In the orders issued then, the High Court restrained the swearing-in of Deputy Governor Ahmed Mukhtar and essentially suspended the outcome of the impeachment proceedings at the Senate. In his orders yesterday, Justice Patrick Otieno ruled that the orders of 18th May 2021 remains in force from the time they were issued. Consequently, the Meru Court placed the matter in the hands of the newly installed Chief Justice Martha Kome to establish a bench to hear the case. Because the court had issued orders all the way from the county assembly to the Senate, even the Senate at the time it was sitting to, to move the impeachment process, the orders were in existence. And a number of notable elected leaders are throwing their lot with Mukhtar as their new county head. The case has been referred to the Chief Justice for the embanneling of a of, of, of bench. Whatever outcome, we'll abide by. Until that happens, we have a duly sworn in governor. It's our prayers that the judiciary will also uphold the same. Uh, that way, as Wajia people, all we are saying is that Wajia should move forward now. This proves that my purported removal was well engineered from the beginning so as to influence the 2022 political matrix of Wajia County. For now, residents of Wajir County will have to await the decision of the bench to be constituted by the new CJ to know their real governor. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Nairobi.